So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this dish called a potato and chicken curry or a chicken potato curry See, I just came up with the name and that's because I think I came up with this dish I'm not sure but it is something I concocted in my pot and it was absolutely finger looking good everybody was asking for more so I know it was very good if you've tasted you know the Nigerian chicken curry then you would absolutely love this imagine Irish potato marinating in that it was so good so good and I can't wait to do it again so if you're interested in this recipe keep watching don't forget to click the thumbs up button that's the like button don't forget to subscribe and always remember for the measurements and the ingredients you know you can always check my blog cma.com so let's start cooking so I'm going to be using green bell peppers, some red peppers, and then I'm also going to be using onion and then potatoes. These are Irish potatoes. For this particular one, I used boiled turkey. You can use boiled chicken. I also have carrots and then some parsley just for garnishing. So first things first, I'm going to be peeling my potatoes with a potato peeler. This makes life very, very easy. Then I'm going to chop it into little bits, you know. I don't want big fat potatoes, but I'm just going to cut it in chunks. I'm going to place a pot on the cooker, add a bit of water. And the next thing you're going to be adding is your chicken stock or your turkey stock. Just make sure this stock is good because this is the stock that is going to make or break this recipe. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add my potatoes, just add them little by little, just enough potato for the chicken stock that you have. I'm going to be adding my seasoning now. I'm using paprika, I'm using curry, I'm using um, seasoning cube, which is maggi or no. I'm also going to be adding a bit of salt and I'm going to be adding a bit of turmeric. Turmeric is going to give it that very yellow color. I'm also adding thyme. As well now give it a good shake and allow it to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes until your potato is cooked basically next I'm going to be cutting my turkey in chunks this turkey has marinated for two days so it's awesome right now let me know if you want me to make a video on how I prepare my chicken stock or my beef stock while the potato is cooking you need to put a pan on the stove and then I'm going to be using coconut oil. I'm going to be stir frying my vegetables. The first thing I'm adding is my onion. I'm also going to be adding some ginger. I love the flavor ginger brings to this dish. I'm also going to be adding my green pepper next. I cut everything in big chunks because that's how I want to have it in my dish. You can choose to cut it smaller, but this is how I actually enjoyed it. Now it's time to add the carrots. See how pretty it makes everything look. Sometimes I just like food because it looks pretty. Anyway, we're going to be stirring that together. At this point, I decided to add some green chilies. You know, green chilies have a lovely, lovely flavor. And then I'm also going to be adding my red peppers here. People say I love pepper a lot. I think I actually like pepper a lot. So you can use your discretion with the pepper. I also added the um, cut um, turkey. So I'm just mixing everything together. Just stir fry for like a minute. And then we are going to be adding this awesomeness to the potato. After adding my vegetables, I'm going to mix everything together. And I also added a bit of flour. That is baking flour. It's just a sprinkle of that flour. It gives it a different texture and I kind of like it so it's optional you can choose to add and you can choose to skip it but i love it like this it was so good this is what the finished meal looks like it was really really good tastes nice looks nice if you like this video don't forget to click the like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye